Mets fans, I'm here with Coach Jeremy Colonia. Jeremy, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and joining me here once again. You guys got a big series win over Fort Myers last week uh, with the three wins. Uh, what was so big for you guys in that series to help get those wins? Uh, I think it was a mix of timely hitting, um, getting on the other team early, making pitches when we had to, and, and a lot of quality defense and base running. Speaking of hitting, you had a couple of guys who played really well for them, all batting over 300, including Colin Houck, who was batting 444 with four RBIs and a home run last week. What was some of the turnaround for those guys at the plate? Um, specifically with Colin, just just continuing to trust what he's doing in the cages and, and in, in all of his prep work. Uh, definitely hasn't been the season that, that he would like or we would all like, but I think he's he's really try, starting to turn a corner with, with his preparation and it's carrying over into the game. Those things are going to happen. Guys are going to hit into those slumps. What is your message to those guys when they're in those funks and trying to work their way out of it? Um, just, again, kind of what, what I said about Colin, just trusting what they're doing in the cages, making the adjustments when they need to, but also trusting, like, they're here for a reason, and there's no need to hit the panic button. It's a long season, even here here down the stretch. Like, there's still quite a few at-bats to get. So understanding that you're playing the long game, not not a not a sprint. You guys had to deal with some rain delays last week, a couple of cancellations, some postponements. Uh, what's kind of the message to the guys when trying to wait out those rain delays and making sure you're ready to go for the game once it does come around? Uh, just trying to, to, to stay ready, stay loose, um, not only physically but mentally, um, whether it's sitting in the training room, watching the game, playing cards, just something to, to pass the time but also stay locked in and not totally, not totally falling asleep at the wheel. Well, you guys had two games canceled last week, and now you have an extended break here before this series gets set and ready to go. Uh, that classic rest versus rust debate. How do you keep the guys ready to go for today's game and not fall into that rust issue? Uh, I think, it, especially here, we're right at about a month left in the season. Um, guys are tired. They've been here since January. Um, I think the, the rest is more important, more important than, the, than the rust at this point. Um, but also still kind of giving them their daily vitamins within their within their cage time, their field work and stuff like that. Looking for another series win this week. What are some of the keys uh, to do that and get off to a quick start against Bradenton? Score more than the other team the first game. That's the key. I like it. Simple. All right, Jeremy, thanks for your time and good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it.